What is going on, all you amazing viewers to play later? How are we doing today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time it is, wherever you are watching this video. <clears throat> Ugh, sorry. So, as you know by that thumbnail, everything else you clicked on to get here today, that's right. We got a little bit of a treat. Something else from Ford's World. The Legio Custodius Gladius Dreadnought. Or as I'm calling this video the tale of two dreadnoughts because we brought spear boy a little bit ago now we're bringing the up close get personal in your face kind of dreadnought aren't we but you know how we do it here on the channel before we get too much further into this we've got to get the adulting out of the way so here we go stay tuned from basically an infomercial from our unofficial sponsor so there i was 23 years old prime in my life i woke up one morning looked in the mirror and my hair was thinning it was all falling out it wasn't until i discovered this one solution that changed everything. My first initial thought was, it's gotta be genetics, right? It's not my fault, this is genetic. Go and find out, I'm not the only one dealing with thinning hair and confidence issues. And it was nuts because we started to change everything in our routine. We started looking at what we were putting in our bodies, what we were eating, how much water we were intaking, and then we started working out and taking care of ourselves, but still something was missing. But also what we put on our body is drastically important to our skin and hair health. So we ditched all of those chemical fill products. We started using healthy organic ingredients and took it upon myself to start creating these organic ingredient products to help people. I have a solution for you. Ditch all of those chemical fill products and grab something that's organic, natural, handmade, something that your family will thank you and your health will thank you. Make the switch today incredible company make sure you check in the description box down below there's going to be a direct link abuse the ever living crap out of that viewer exclusive discount code that is directly for you okay so i'm filming this on monday march 18th 2024 currently the only place you can buy it is like forge world or um as everybody else has to call it now warhammer.com it's currently running at 111 bucks for a big resin kit that's not bad <clears throat> we got some stuff to talk about though but i do like this they call it designed to provide an anchor for legio custodes battle line the contemporary gladius is armed in similar fashion to the custodes sentinel guard swords and boards you know <laughs> already able to withstand heavy assaults with its armor and refractor field the presidium shield allows the contemporary to stand nigh on impregnable custodes are already a bitch to drop all right and then you put take one and put them in a dreadnought. Okay, fun with that. But still. Now, like I said, it is Forge World, so it's all resin. To get it ready for priming, gluing, everything else, you gotta do a little bit of work. Alright? You gotta take it out of the little container it comes in, which basically <laughs> looks like this. And yes, they gave you extra feet, so if you wanted to, you could have right foot raised, left foot raised, maybe both foot raised like he's jumping. Whatever you want. You work it out. Got to take it out of the container. You got to put it in warm, soapy water. I use dishwashing uh, liquid, and I let it soak for 20 minutes. Then you get a like um, medium to hard bristle toothbrush and scrub the ever-living crap out of every single piece. Why? It's going to help break up that release agent from the mold. It's going to help clean all the parts up. Going to get it ready for primer. Going to help um, the super glue just bond a hell of a lot better. My personal choice is Gorilla Glue Gel. I found it works amazing with Forge World parts. It basically bonds almost instantaneously. So when you hit that glue and put the pieces together, you better be 100% you know, sure. I've got a... Um, <sighs> A Custodes Tribune at the head's kind of at a weird angle because I didn't catch it in time. So he's stuck forever like, oh, my neck, my neck. Yeah. All right. Now, in the kit, you're going to get the usual stuff from Forge World that says, hey, this person on that day checked it out and made sure everything was ready for you. You're going to get the little instructions on what they suggest you go through in order to get your kit ready to go. You're also going to get a little instruction guide. Now, if you want to do a stock custodies guide, save this picture. All right, save the opening to this. Go to warhammer.com, pull it up, scroll through all the pictures, save them to your phone. That way you have great reference material. If you're doing your own scheme, man, knock yourself out. Have fun. Verify you have all the parts. Okay? Just verify. And then just start walking through. 
anywhere you see yellow is where they suggest putting the super glue. Green is kind of what you're working on, and you see this blue up here? That's for you to alternate your feet. Now, <laughs> I did learn something from Spear Boy moving forward. I'll show you in a moment. Basically, if you're going stock, just follow along with everything, all right? Everything. I did have some of the similar problems with Spear Boy as I did with this guy. But the best part is he's all painted up. So, bam! <laughs> There's my guy. Now, <laughs> my first big problem, just like on Spear Boy, see the cracks? I don't know what it is about getting those pauldrons off that sprue. Both cracked in the exact same identical position. So, yay! <sighs> I was able to put the arm together, no problem, on the right arm this time. So it's got the little pauldron thingies up to the little wings on the pauldron. Way cool. Now, the other thing I did not pay attention to is the position of the hand going into the shield. Basically, you got to dry fit it in there, and that's where it's going to go. But I really wanted the shield up a little bit more. But on the side, if you ever watch Troy and like some of the other movies like that, when they're walking into battle, slamming you know their sword on their shield for um, psychological purposes, I was like, okay, I can live with that. I can really, really, truly live with that. He went together really easy, probably because I'm glad I had the experience from the other one. My biggest problem was getting the feet to stay in place on the base. For some reason, they just didn't want to adhere, and they kept slipping and sliding a little bit. So thank God for texture paint to help cover up some of the over-excessive super glue lines. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, don't use plastic glue. It's not going to help you. It's only going to cause you fits trying to get resin to mold together with plastic glue. It's just not going to happen. I like how he turned out. I want something a little different. I went with that shield, just the bare gold, as opposed to trying to get in there and get <sighs> highlighting between the little bits. I wanted something a little different other than the two different paint schemes, because like I said, I'm collecting a 40K custode force and a horse heresy force. I wanted their armor to be different. I mean, if you look at the Legions, Astartes from way back when, just look at the Space Wolves. They were a dark, deep, stormy gray. Now they're like baby butt powder blue. So, yeah, changes do happen. I figure over the millennium with everybody working like Belisar's Crawl or Arkham Land, yeah, they just made some improvements. But I did like how it all just pulled out. I know you can hear my kids upstairs. They always do this. Hold on a second, please. I had to put down a kid rebellion. But still, uh, the base is really, really simple. I use that AK Interactive's um, Lunar lunar Dust, Lunar Moon. It's basically the equivalent of Astro Granite, and I gave it a coat of Reichland Flesh Shade. So, <coughs> so it looks like a muddy, concrete dusty, you know, kind of base thing, because if you think about it, most custodes, the biggest battles they were ever in that you hear about, the Burning of Prospero and the Defense of Terror. So lots of concrete a rock creek, whatever, lots of cities, lots of weird looking stuff. So I kept it easy, simple across the base with all my custodes, dirty, dusty, rocky base. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something. It, it just, I'm really happy how it turned out. The way some of the gold just pops. They're really easy to do. Simple, effective highlights like the, um, the sword is just three colors. Vallejo gunmetal blue, dry brushing of um, apple barrel white, and frost heart right out of the pot. There it is. That's how I do my sorts. But still, there he is. Yet another one done. Yet another one ready to stand guard at the Lion's Gate. Have some fun. Woo, we're at the best part of the video for me. Seriously, we really, really, truly are. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below. What do you think of them? Do you think I did a good job? Do you play the Horus Heresy? Do you play Warhammer 40K? You know, do you do custodes? Do you have any of these in your force? What do you think of them? Any tips, tricks, pointers, anything for new players that you can drop down below? Please do. Help the next wave out, you know? 
Now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that while filming this video, and I'm pretty sure that I did, please hit that big thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support to the channel, give you great karma, help you roll natural sixes. That's my theory. You put out good, you get good back, right? Seriously, try it. Go like a couple dozen of my videos. It'll help trigger the algorithm, help me out a lot, and help me prove my theory. Just saying. But there we go, guys. My quick, weird look at... The Legio Custodius Contemptor Gladius Dreadnought. I hope you're having a great day today. A safe day today. And Emperor willing, one day soon, we'll be rolling dice across the tabletop.